guys, welcome back to Tinkor Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing for you something really special. It is the classic carbonara. Yes, carbonara guys. We're putting cream, we're putting parsley, we're putting ham, we're putting spam. So we do the intro again? I reckon we should do the intro again. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pink Wall Kitchen and today we're going to be doing for you the classic carbonara. That's right, the Roman classic carbonara, which consists of guanciale, pecorino romano, pasta, pepper, that's it. That's it. And egg. Oh yeah, of course, and egg as well. So let's get into it. I've got here about, oh a nice big chunk of guanciale. If you don't know what guanciale is, it's actually an Italian cured meat product. Um, it comes from the jowl or the, or the cheek. Uh, if you can't find guanciale, I'd suggest use uh, flat pancetta or otherwise a streaky bacon is really good too. So I'm just going to cut this in half and we'll take, take the skin off it. Yeah, so half of this chunk is probably about 75 grams and we'll just give it a nice rough chop. Yeah, I know, right? It almost looks like it's Wagyu or something. Like I said, a nice, nice rough chop. Don't have to be too precious about it. Oh, I forgot to put the pasta in. Okay, so once the, the guanciale has been roughly chopped, I'm just going to get some sea salt and throw that into the pasta water. And I've got here a good handful of spaghetti. You can use fettuccine if you want to. Uh, you can use gattoni, you can use any type of pasta really. Uh, but we're going to go with spaghetti today because it's just nice and it's, it's a classic. Now I've got the fry pan on the heat and the time that it takes the guanciale to render is about the same time as how long it will take the, the spaghetti to cook till al dente. A bit of olive oil. And you want this to be low, low heat. And then throw the, throw the guanciale in the pan and let that come to a, a nice low sizzle. Okay, cool. So now we've got the pasta in the pot. Um, and we've also got the guanciale just slowly rendering down. Next thing we do is our eggs. So a couple of eggs. Just crack them into a bowl. Give it a little sprinkle of sea salt and we'll just whisk it up. Next thing, just grate the pecorino romano into the into the eggs. You can use parmesan as well if you want to, but pecorino romano just has a, an extra bit of a, a tang slash saltiness, which is great for the carbonara. And then just mix that up. So in the mortar and pestle, what I've done is I just put some whole fresh peppercorns and cracked them up. So that's ready to go on side. So check here guys, see this nice golden brown in color. Turn it off and just let that sit for a minute. Pasta should be nearly done. Oh. All right, off the heat, pasta off the heat, and onto the board. Let's just transfer the pasta into the pan. Go one medium sized ladle of the pasta water. So you see here that pasta water is mixing in with the pasta and it's creating a little emulsification, which is what we want. Then pepper straight into the pan. Keep moving it. And then swimming out the eggs. Keep mixing, and this will just thicken up nicely. Give it a toss. And that's what we're after. Nice and silky, get a bowl. Ah, tongue's right in front of me. <laughs> Okay, dish that up into the bowl. 
and then all those last little bits of guanciale in the sauce. Finish it off. The pecorino romano cheese and a little touch of extra virgin olive oil. And there we have it guys, that's the, that's the carbonara. Should we try it? Definitely. Yeah, cool. Come on, come into the shop, give it a shot. You gotta try more than that. You only had one piece, you didn't even try it. Come on. Really good. This is really good. Yeah? Let me try it. No. <laughs> That's the carbonara. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next week when we're going to be doing the fourth classic Roman pasta, the Armaticiana. Until then, much love.